Hi there. Today we are going to learn a very important topic around Python JSON object. Okay, this should be our topic, and I will give you complete understanding about a JSON object. If you are very new, if you do not have an understanding around JSON object, you will be able to understand. So Python JSON is our topic. Before we get started, I would request you to support me by subscribing to my channel. Please do subscribe and continue your support to our channel. Let's get started now. I am talking about Python JSON. First of all, what is this JSON is all about? So JSON stands for Java Script Object Notation. Okay, Java Script Object Notation. Now, in practical world, what is that? We need to understand. For that, let's visit a website called randomuser.me. Okay, just open this website. Now, this website generally produces random users every time I refresh. what would happen a random user is produced in the um on the web page and if you see this web page has couple of details for example the name and then the email address if i click on this if i click on this then it gives the birth date if i check uh, bring my mouse over here it gives the address if i bring my uh, mouse over here it gives the phone number so it has got multiple data in the front end <coughs> so these are the multiple data in the front end now if i have to see how the back end data looks for that all i will do i'll simply say api and hit on enter so what i did i simply wrote api and if you see the back end data looks something like this so it has a gender so every time you run it it will keep on changing the data so it has a name um it has the email address password username age right uh, so there are multiple details available here So this is the background data how your web page works it could be xml html or the json format generally json format is used to carry the data from the server to your client or from your machine to the server if you like to um, you know you are requesting a web page or you want to open a web page let's say facebook you see a entire data so all the data that appears on your screen this appears because of the json data getting transferred from the server to your machine okay so now this is the this is the json data but again this doesn't really give you an complete understanding so what i will do i will copy this data i am going to copy this data and i will go to there are so many json viewer okay on online available so open any one of them on google so i'm opening uh, let's say this one and here i am going to copy paste the data which i copied from this randomuser.me api okay now if we hit on format generally what this will do this will convert the entire thing in a proper format and you can see the gender is male name is so and so first name so this is quite readable right this is quite readable um and then i can see there is a email address here you can see there is a email address okay let me enlarge the screen a little bit okay so you can see there is a email address name street street address so everything is there in a proper so this is the json format the json format is responsible to carry the data from the server to your machine or from the machine to the server vice versa okay so json data so the uh, this is the uh, one of the popular way of transferring data is generally used to transfer data from server to your machine or from the machine to your to the server right so you can see this is how the json data looks like okay so you got a fair understanding how the json data looks like and how this data comes from the server to my machine on my browser now and same thing sometime when i have to uh, send some data let's say you are entering the username and password so you are sending that data so you are sending username colon whatever you have entered then the password colon then there is a secure secure key that you are entering and that data will carry from your laptop to the server and verify and then it will return the data then it will return and it will give you the login page so you can see uh, it will give you the after you log in it will give you that web page let's say facebook you can imagine so for all this json data is used okay now you got right now only understanding you should have a json data will start with a curly braces end with a curly braces and there is a bunch of data which has a key and a value there is a key and a value for example first there is a first name last last name location street number so like likewise this will be organized email email address right um date of birth date age so like that there is a key and there is a value there is a key and a value so this is how the data is organized now this is a simple understanding we have okay now how can i really utilize that on python let's see it 
you know with very simple example so that you understand what is this json object and how do you deal with it so first of all what i will do i will create a object called x and i'm going to create a dictionary object so what i will do i'll use a curly braces in python for dictionary and then uh, i'm going to say name comma and let's say i'm going to store a name let's say williams okay and then comma um, then i will say age then colon and then i'm going to enter some age let's say uh, 25 comma uh, then i will say city which city he belongs to these are the three simple data uh, i am going to store so what is this now this is a dictionary object and how do i know it if i simply say print and if i say type right if i do this and if i run this is going to tell me okay the x object which you have created with this value this is belongs to the class dictionary so the object belongs to the class dictionary so this much we have understood this is a object x object i have created with a dictionary now um, json now how do i convert this to json for example i'll show you um, let me create an object called y okay now to convert anything first of all you need to have the module what is the module name json module so you will import that json module done and then i will create an object called y equals to then i'm going to say json dot there is something called dumps okay dumps so what i would like to dump the x object i would like to dump and convert that to a json format so few minutes back i showed you how the json format looks like right so let's see if this one comes in the right format or not in the so what this will do this is going to convert the python object python object to it could be any kind of an object okay doesn't matter so here we are using a dictionary object so python object to json string so it will convert it to json string so how that happens let's see that how i will see simply print the y so if i print the y if i run it what happens the json object has come so the, it has printed the json object y but again this is not in the same format how i saw it is appearing something like this so how do i get it in this kind of a format it is quite easy all i have to do while i'm trying to convert that to json string put a comma and there is something called indent equals to let's say i'm entering 5 so if i do this <coughs> it's going to convert that to a proper format now you can see this has been converted into a proper format of json how a json would look like okay so this much is understood so what we have learned here we have learned how to create a how do you create an object and how do you really import the json and then convert that object into a json format and print that json in a right json way so you can see it has printed the value in this right way okay this is one way now how about um, now this got the python object con got converted to json string how about the json string getting converted to an object so that i can access the value for example here what i will do i'll create another object called z equals to i will simply say json this is the module dot there is something called loads okay so loads and here i'm going to load the json string so what i'm what am i doing here i'm trying to load the json string first thing i created an object python object i converted that to json string and this way in the line number seven I'm converting the JSON string to an object and Python object to a Python object okay so let's see this let's let's print um, Y okay I'm going to print the type Y uh, sorry type Z okay now uh, let's run this let's execute this and see what is the output so what is the output it has come the first one in the line number six it has printed the json string so you can see this is the json string got printed and in the line number eight in the line number eight it, it is saying now because you have converted this to a python object so this is now belongs to a dictionary the object z belongs to a dictionary 
so these are the two different functions which are very important how do you convert a python object to json string using json dot dumps and you have to import the json module okay so this is the first one and the second one how do i convert the json string to a python object vice versa right so that can be done by using loads json dot loads and that will convert back to the object okay the python object so you can see now the z output has come as it's a dictionary type right it is a dictionary type getting it so this is how you will be able to so this is the basics i am giving later on we will learn more complex things around this but again at the moment all you need to uh, learn about how do you import a json module what are the json uh, what is a json object looks like how the json uh, strings looks like so this is the json string right uh, and how they are useful in a website uh, and then how do you um, uh, you know json string how do you convert that to a python object so all these things from this video you have learned now as we move forward we are going to learn more complex aspects of python uh, around the automation we are going to learn so thank you guys for watching this we are going to meet once again in our next content um, till then uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and continue to support my channel thank you guys we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye